If you're selling your car, it's a proven fact that sharing better photos and videos can help you sell it faster and maybe even for more money. So in this video, some easy tips to help you do it. So I'm gonna focus mainly on helping you to do two things. The first is avoiding common mistakes that keep your photos from looking as good as they could. And the second is to give you a few easy ways to take a cover photo that'll stand out from the crowd, leave an impression, and grab that all important attention by stopping the scrolling. So the easiest way to make your photo stand out in the search results of an online car marketplace is to avoid taking the same photo that everyone else is taking, which is to say a photo from about head height of the car parked in a driveway, parking lot, or showroom. Instead, bring the car somewhere less busy. Just find a decent background, it doesn't have to be fancy, but you're trying to eliminate distractions in the photo to generate a longer and more memorable first impression of what you're selling. I'm going to pretend that I have to shoot a for sale ad for this Mustang Mach-E. Let me show you where I went and how to avoid the number one rookie mistake of shooting cars that you should never ever make. So we're actually just in the parking lot uh, behind my gym, but I figured this might be a good spot to do a little setup and show you some of these tips uh, for a cover photo. We're gonna use uh, that Mustang Mach-E as an example. This is that rookie mistake I'm talking about. So see at this angle, I can see the front of the car here, the side of the car here, and I'm seeing the face of that wheel. This is what we want. What we don't want is to shoot this from the other side over here, same angle. But down here, look how ugly that looks. Because I see the front of the car there, the side of the car there, and then just a bunch of black, dirty rubber in the middle. Actually, hey, here we go. Hey, that's looking even better, I think. Look at this. The camera up a little higher here. Maybe even a little higher than that. Actually, that angle is like super cool right there. I kind of just like to use a backdrop like this to make sure that the car is the center of the attention. But I'm thinking like that's a pretty, pretty nice shot right there. The second mistake that you should never ever make shooting is to shoot the interior of your car in direct sunlight. You can see here with the Shelby, nasty looking shadows, this photo is pretty bad. The shadows make the photos look distracting and messy and I'm not tempted to look at them for very long. Here again in the E39, which I wish I was selling because these things are getting pricey. Just look at these awful interior photos ruined by shadows. Solution, shoot in the shade on a cloudy day. That way there are no shadows to keep your shots from looking as good as they could. When shooting the exterior in direct sunlight, watch carefully to make sure the photo looks great before you finish too. Sometimes harsh lighting and reflections can ruin a good shot. I like this cover shot pose, front three quarter we call it, wheel turned again always towards the camera. The side angle shot is always a good one too and if you nail the horizon line by carefully leveling your shot before clicking that shutter, you'll be doing something that almost nobody does in their for sale ads. For the best possible shot, I'd also avoid parking a car on gravel or dirt, and as you've been seeing here, sunset can make a great time to do your photos since you get this sort of free orange Instagram filter that makes cars look fantastic. It's called Golden Hour, and shooting your car at Golden Hour is a great way to take the best photo of it that you can. Finally, I'd suggest moving around a lot, get down low, and the shot tends to punch up the presence of the car's face and stance. Take lots of photos. Take each photo a few times just in case your camera or phone mucks something up. This is like having a solid backup plan. And finally, remember to steady that phone before you click, even holding your breath if needed to make sure that it's nice and still. This can prevent blurry shots, especially in lower lighting conditions. Your phone might have a wide angle selfie camera, front facing that can be perfect for getting the entire forward dashboard in a single shot like this. Just make sure to steady the camera and level the dashboard before you click. So some simple and easy tips that I use to take car photos that I hope you can use to help sell your car faster and easier with a great cover photo or photo gallery. Head on over to driving.ca for more information. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below so you never miss a new upload. And until next time, take care and stay safe.